All right, so let's get into the last problem. Uh, this is going to be a small game, which I'm going to call as the cups and beer game. Uh, to play this game, let's assume that we all love beer. And the game is played between, let's say, you and me. All right, so here is a setup. You are given n cups. You are given n cups in the beginning and initially all of these cups are empty n cups or in beer glasses and uh, let's assume that all of these cups are big enough to hold enough beer or as much as beer as you want right uh, so this game is played in n rounds okay so the first round uh, basically in each round uh, you get to play first then I play, then you play, I play, etc. So round one, so round one works this way. You will be given uh, one liter of beer and you are allowed to pour that one liter of beer across this N cups. Essentially, you want to distribute that one liter of beer into these cups in whatever way you like okay if you want you can pour the whole one liter into bucket number three or or maybe just pour it equally so that each cup has one over n uh, liter of beer so that is that is what you do when you when it is your turn and now it is my turn so in my turn what, I, what i'm going to do is i'll i'll come and i will choose one of these cups and I get to drink the beer in that cup. Okay, so you pour into this N cups, then I get to choose one cup and drink the beer from that cup. That is round one. So you pour and I choose one cup and and drink or empty that cup that is round one round two the same story you get to pour one liter of beer into this across this n cups then i get to choose one cup and drink the whole beer from that cup round three same story round four same story Round n minus 1, same thing. So we do the same thing for n minus 1 number of rounds. And now comes the last round. Round n, again you pour, you pour 1 liter into one of these cups and you get to and you choose one cup and drink. So essentially, in all rounds except the last round, I get to drink. Whereas in the last round, you get to drink. And the question is, what strategy you should follow so that you can maximize the amount of beer you're gonna get at the end of this game. Okay, so here is a so that is a question. So take a moment to understand the problem and uh, and see what you can come up with. So let me explain few strategies which. Uh, which we can try. One is, how about you pour that one liter fully into one cup all the time. Okay, so that whole one liter is poured into a bucket. Then what I will do is, I'll just pick that bucket and I'll, I'll just pick that cup and I'll drink from that. So, 
So at the end of this kind of a strategy, you will get nothing from round one, you will get nothing from round two. And of course, the last round is all yours. So that one liter, you will get to drink. So that your output is just one liter. Not good enough, right? Now, what about another strategy? Uh, in the first round, you will try to pour equal amount of beer into this n buckets. So that is 1 over n. one over n to each of these buckets and so uh, then when I come to drink I have no choice right I mean everything is the same so I'll just pick one of them and drink it now in the second round what you want to do is perhaps you don't want to give me any choice so what you will do is in the second round you have your one liter you will pour them into this n buckets in such a way that the amount of beer in all of these n buckets are the same. Again, I come back and I see that it's all the same, and so I just pick one of them, etc. etc. So, what is going to be the answer for this strategy? So, in round one, the amount of beer in each of this bucket is going to be 1 over n right after the first round so sorry after at the beginning of the first round it's going to be 1 over n and one of this is going to be empty so the amount of beer in all of these buckets is going to be at most 1 over n t 1 over n at the end of round 1 round 2 what you have to do is first you have to fill uh, fill up a little bit more on the emptied cup then pour the rest of it equally so what you can see is roughly the amount of beer in each of these buckets at the end of second round is at most 2 over n after third round it is at most 3 over n so uh, at the end of n minus 1 round it is at most n minus 1 over n so roughly that is 1 liter then at the end you will get your 1 litre, so the total is going to be 2 litres. So previously it was 1 litre, now almost 2 litre, very close to 2 litre. Yeah, slight improvement, uh, still not great, right? So what should be a good strategy so that we can get it better? Right, so I'm going to present one idea and see if that works or see how well that works. So my suggestion is this, you pour this again, you pour that one liter equally to all the buckets, equally to all the buckets, then I come when I come, I'll pick one of these buckets and I will empty it, right? So, for example, let's say I picked bucket number 3. So, this is what I picked, bucket number 3. In the second round, what I want you to do is, you pour that 1 liter equally across all the buckets except that bucket which is currently empty so what will happen this bucket will stay empty but in all the other buckets you will pour additional 1 divided by n minus 1 ok now it is my chance let's say I came and I picked the beer from this bucket let's say the last bucket so I emptied it So what you should do at the third round or any round after that, you take the beer and you pour it equally among all the non-empty buckets. So if a bucket is empty, just forget about it. Pour it only over the non-empty buckets. 
okay so what is going to be the final outcome of this strategy let's analyze this so i get to drink only n minus 1 times so that means i am going to empty only n minus 1 buckets so there is one last bucket or one last cup which is going to be non empty and that you will get to drink and how much beer is gonna be there because of the first round you will have 1 over n because of the second round you will have 1 over n minus 1 then 1 over n minus 2 etc etc and the last round you will have 1 so the total amount of beer you're gonna have is 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus etc up to 1 over n so what is this quantity or uh, how to sum this up in a nice way this thing is called harmonic series and it is usually represented using uh, using hn so hn essentially denotes the sum of uh, sum of uh, all the reciprocals of numbers from 1 to n and how to evaluate this? Uh, we can kind of approximate this using a function. So, if you look at here, this is actually you are summing up all the numbers from x is equal to 1 to n. So, this is a summation. We can kind of approximate this using an integral. And if you remember 1 over x dx, this is log x to the base e and you need to substitute so x is equal to 1 and then and if you substitute this you will get this as log to the base e. So usually log to the base e is represented as ln All right, so that was all about it. I just wanted to introduce this thing called harmonic series, which will come very often in 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 uh, in this course. Okay, harmonic series, and the harmonic series can be approximated as log to the base e, and e is a natural logarithm. What is e? Two point seven one eight something. Yeah, so this is all about it and uh, what we're going to see next is uh, some well-known algorithms for sorting. Yeah.